multi-bar pattern strategies. How to build them using strategic one text? I'll show you. Welcome back traders to Stadioasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. In this video, I will show you how I construct multi-bar pattern inside strategy quant X and how to use them as building blocks to build uh, other strategies. So let's dive in. In today's video, I will show you how to build a multi-pattern strategies. Basically, uh, these tools usually sell for, I don't know, 400, 500, 600 dollars and they go and look for patterns inside the data and they come back with a good or bad returns. So it's kind of like what uh, strategy, strategy Quantex already does with building blocks. It's just the blocks are not there of what we are looking for. These blocks will answer the following questions. What happens if you have three days up, five days down in a row? Or what happens if you have four days up and then two days pull back? So will this pattern work or not? And obviously we want to automate this. So that's what I'm going to teach you how to do. And uh, this is a freebie. And uh, the link will be down uh, in the comment section. You can download the ebook where I go and describe uh, how the patterns work and also the code where you can import it. And once you import it, you will uh, basically have these two blocks and in Algo Wizard, you will have all these uh, blocks. So let me describe what is the multi-bar pattern is. So let's look at this example. In a two-bar uh, comparison, we can only have uh, three uh, combinations. Well, we can have more, we can have five, but let's treat the equal sign separately. So it's either the current bar is higher than the close of the current bar is higher than the close of one bar ago or it's lower or it's equal but once you add uh, more bars now let's look at three bars then you can see the uh, comparison grows up to nine so obviously if we go to four and five then it will be uh, too many bars to check and although it's automated but it, it also doesn't make any sense because we can easily combine the equal sign with one of these uh, up or down. So if you combine the greater than and the equal sign, then with three bars, we will go down to four combinations where it's either greater than and greater than or greater than lower and lower greater and lower lower. And then with four bars, we, we can grow uh, to eight. So this is very acceptable uh, a number of iterations to go because if we want to go five bars and up to eight bars this tool i'm giving to you it's up to eight bars and to give you an example of how this looks like so all these graphs they represent the same condition which is the close of the current bar is lower than the close of one bar ago and the close of one bar ago one bar ago is lower than the close of two bar ago so obviously they all look very different but in reality, they, on, they only represent this one condition. And that's why when you look at the chart, it's not easy to find out this pattern. While for the computer, it's a lot easier uh, to find it. And that's the advantage of this tool. If you didn't get it, so this is bar number one, number zero. And the close of this bar is lower than the close of this bar, which is bar number one. And then the close of this bar number one is lower than the close of this bar, bar number two. And so all these have the same condition, but they look very different. And that's why it's very hard when you go to four and five bars to find out these patterns. So it's a lot easier, of course, to program it and let the computer find it. Uh, we can go a step further for us to understand if we represent the close greater than the close of one bar ago as one, and if it's lower as zero, then it's also easier for us to represent. So you can see three ones in a row, that means three consecutive close up, and three zeros, that means three consecutive close down. And this is close up, close up, and then last bar is close down. So we, if we represent it in this case, then we can easily see the pattern like this. So one, that means the close is higher or equal to the 
uh, one to one bar ago and zero that means the close is lower than the close of one bar ago and so forth so you can see this pattern it's one 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 zero one so it's a lot easier to represent and and write about and then here are the combinations that you should get so if you com compare three bars with two comparison you should get four combinations and all the way to eight comparisons to 56 combinations. These are the two blocks that I'm gonna give you that will be inside the builder. So if you go to the builder, once you import it, you will have these two imported here and the rest are in Algo Wizard. Of course, with Algo Wizard, you can bring any template to the retester, but I thought these are very beneficial to keep them here and you can use them in the random building of uh, your blocks. And uh, this is what they are. It's basically a pullback and an uptrend and a pullback and a downtrend. Of course, you can build many more, but I thought these are the most beneficial. So this ebook will be uh, available with the download uh, zip uh, folder and it basically it goes over everything. So now once you, uh, oh, and it also shows you how to import at the end and once you import them, they will show up in Algo Wizard, and here they are. So this is a two-day uh, comparison, and uh, this is the up and down, and this is the close. So this is only comparing the close. So if the close of two days ago greater than the close of three days ago, or if close of two days ago lower than the close of three days ago. So you can combine these, of course, in different ways, but uh, we will use uh, the ones currently in the, uh, uh, like I showed you here in the template, which is comparing only close to close. So we need to set the uh, advanced to on. So once you switch it on, now we can start building. So let's add the first condition and when you have it on, you will have these two come up and you can see they are highlighted in green. So just click on random condition and then the random group will show up here. So just scroll to Stardewaces zero day close, confirm, and then let's add another one. And this time is one day close. So remember we're picking the close only now. So we're comparing three bars and two comparison close to close and it's long entry and will exit just after let's say three bars that's it so only long closing after three bars and let's uh, save this so i have it here two bar close and let's go to builder full setting and data us i'm using the es daily and i left uh, Roughly, I don't know, three years. This is commission and slippage. And of course, there is no out of sample. Also, it's important that uh, you leave these off and it's one trade at a time. And then in what to build strategy template. So this is a two bar. And remember, so a two bar should give us four combinations only. So it doesn't matter how long you leave it on. I, I suggest you leave only random generation so it's, uh, it goes through them quicker. And then, uh, oh yes, and one more thing, cross check is disabled and ranking is disabled because we want all the combinations. So let's run it. And that's it, we will have four combinations, doesn't matter how long this will run, it's only four. So let's stop it and now we can easily see through the uh, source code that Remember, we assign zero to lower and and one to greater than. So this is zero, zero, and this is one, one, and one, zero, and zero, one. So once you assign it to one and zero, it's easy to wrap your hand, to wrap your uh, head around it. So it looks like the uh, zero, one is making money and also zero zero is making money which makes sense because the es is mean reverting and have a uh, tendency to go up 
So that means any strategy that's willing to go long is better than go short. And any strategy on the mean reverting side is better than the long following, long trend following uh, side. So in any case, so now we have these two. And now we can test them on the full. Um, so now we want to do it on all of uh, the data available. But let's keep the out of sample so it's easier to compare. So December. So let's do the progress start. And you can see now this is the uh, zero zero the same as this one zero zero but now because we have the out of sample we can easily uh, compare so let's do the um, let's see default main data and then we can see this is the out of sample for all of them zero zero obviously the out of sample so the out of sample for zero zero went down and then this is the zero one and the out of sample did much better and then this guy which is one one used to be horrible and now suddenly after in 2018 is performing very well and i want to bring your attention here that although yes this is horrible but the drawdown did not go further so it's actually started to, to do well since 2009 and what happened since 2009 we were in a bull market since 2009 so if you start this strategy from 2000, 2009 obviously it will make money and then let's see this guy same thing but now it's uh, not doing well as you can see the patterns they will be doing well in certain market regimes and not so well in other market regimes and the way we can figure this out so let, let's now we understand the concept so this strategy for example is, is doing well in a bull market so let's try to add a simple filter to this bull market so what if we only do this and let's add a Let's add a bull market uh, condition and a simple one. Let's do a daily close of today is higher than the SMA 50. So let's save. And since it's saved, I don't need to go back here and reload the strategy. Just go here, start again, same out of sample period. And remember, we want to test the, let's stop this. So we want to test the one, one. So it looks like this one, one, zero. So this is one, zero, and this is the new condition, the SMA. So this is one, zero, we want one, one. So this is one one and you can see how the strategy with a filter performed much better yes we have stagnation but it did perform much better now just was added with adding a simple regime filter and the reason we added the regime filter is because we understand now that this pattern works well in a bull market so obviously this is only one and you can see the combinations you can do are huge even this you can optimize and we can use uh, also in the last video i showed you how to use kaufman so let's do kaufman is uh, i think we did lower than a level i don't remember and this is a short pattern let's do five and i don't know point two let's see what happens so save again and it's already loaded i go to builder and do another four and none of them did well i don't need to even go further so maybe go the opposite side uh let's see 
So higher than a level. And save. So this did much better. And this one is the zero zero. So you can see zero zero is has a lot of potential. Obviously before the uh, before we do the out of sample, it's, it was doing well. And then with the out of sample, it did well. Remember, it's just it it wasn't like it didn't make a new high, but it's also kept the profits. And then with the market regime, and I think this is zero zero. Yes, this is with the uh, SMA market regime. But look at it now. This is with the so zero zero, and this is with the Kaufman efficiency ratio, and it's doing much better. So obviously, zero zero has a lot of potential on the AS. It's just a matter of now of comb combining it with a better uh, market regime. And then uh, now this one looks also, it's just horribly in 2020. And this started doing well since 2014. Of course, you can keep this like even let's say for example you're watching this over the years and once it starts behaving well you can start to see what market conditions that made it behaving well so if you if you're looking at all this now i should now look at what happened in 2014 so that means this pattern behaved very well in 2014 2014 must have had something i'm not going to go over it in this video but you can see where I'm going with this. It's either volatility or uh, a simple market regime will make this strategy very profitable to, to make money on it. And in this case, we found the Kaufman ratio. That's what helped the strategy to make money. And remember, like I teach you in every almost every video, it's a portfolio what you're looking at. So imagine combining this in a portfolio. Now, well, of course, we didn't finish. We only built a two bar. Great, you made it to the end of part one. I'm glad you sticked around. This is a very useful tool, uh, and I'm sure it will uh, produce a lot of uh, profitable strategies for you in the future. Uh, as usual, uh, <laughs> the video took too long, and I had to split it over two parts. Please continue to watch part two to see what else you can do with this tool.